Welcome back to The Sims. Uh, just a heads up on this episode, um, we had a problem with the uh, recording software, and it got it got the video, thank goodness, um, but the audio and stuff messed up, so I'm doing this post. Uh, there's no game audio either, but right here, uh, from last episode, we got a, uh, I got a promotion, and uh, I'm going to put this, it's a uh, stolen ATM down, it's actually pretty sweet, I zoom in here to try to look at it, it's a dolly with a... Uh, a, ro or a dolly tied to it, like we took it out of the bank or something. It's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys some of the other uh, little awards or whatever they're called, like the little duffel of cash right there that I was pointing at, and then I was having a problem with the... Uh, I was trying to zoom into what's on the table there, the binoculars and the the compass and the all the... I mess up here and grab the bed, but uh, all the compass and all the stuff there, the espionage type stuff with the binoculars and the grappling hook and the, all that kind of stuff, that was pretty cool, which that's fun little stuff that you get whenever you uh, start advancing in your career with the little, the little baseball bat there, and they all give off little uh, little moodlets and stuff. But uh, I'm the muscle starting work in about five hours, going to check my, uh, actually, what do I do here? Go to Raven. And this is actually quite difficult to try to do this after the fact because I have no idea to try to remember what in the world I was thinking, you know, at the time of recording it. Um, I guess I'm trying to fix Raven Bonds here and try to figure out what the next guy's doing. Try to make her renew some pancakes. She, uh, her, her career thing is a, uh, is a chef. So trying to get her stuff up like we did with, uh, with my character and chef's character um, early on. But, uh, I don't know, trying to get it going here, I don't exactly know what in the heck, what in the heck I was thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing here? Okay, working five hours, I've already done that. Anyway, I, I tell you what, let's talk about something else while this is going on in the background, I guess, something that's kind of been on my mind. Um, this is the NCAA football, man, I've really enjoyed, um, doing that stuff. And, uh, at the time of recording this episode, we're actually in the off season. And uh, more than likely going to stay at Oklahoma State. I don't know if this will be out before or after. Um, hopefully, it's after because I'm ready to get I'm ready to get the next season started, man. Um, I think NC State. I think he's been wanting to play, so we'll probably play him as a uh, non-conference preseason game. And um, I did watch the game on Merck's channel. Pretty cool. Um, so. I might watch that one again when it comes time to play so I can get a better idea of what his offense is and what and what in the world he's doing. Um, back to the game here. I think I paused it when I realized there was a problem with the audio. Just made a small cut in the video there where I was trying to figure out what in the heck was going on with the audio. But I think at this point, uh, the little love interest that uh, Chef found at the uh, – found, found – that he met uh, while at the gym. She's over, so I stop what he's doing, even though he's tired as hell. I make him come over here and answer the door and talk to uh, Stacy. I think her name was. But anyways, I trying to get this deal fired up. The other girl was just, she was annoying. I mean, all moping around all the time, always sad. I mean, ain't nobody want to hang around with people that are dadgum sad all the time. Besides, look at this chick's socks, man. This is knee-high yellow socks with some sandals on and a pink leopard print skirt. I mean, what's cuter than that? There can't be anything better than that. But anyways, I'm rocking and rolling here trying to flirt, trying to close the deal with Chef, trying to hook him up with all this stuff. Keep asking. She's single. Um, I think I may wait and have Chef ask her on a date. Let him let him do the whole date thing with her. But uh, just keep trying. He's moping around. Chef's tired. We're struggling here with the whole energy thing. I mean, he, he just... He might have just got off of work. I don't know. It's 6 p.m. He might have. Maybe that's why he's so tired. But uh, she's single. Congratulations, Chef. The door is wide open, son. All you got to do is walk in. But anyway, we spend quite a bit of time here flirting and talking to her and having the having the awesome radio that we got from the uh, from the party, which was awesome. We need to have another one of those. Um, invite some more people over. But... Um, just keep doing the flirting, telling jokes about ducks and politicians. Trying to get him in the door here. I think we click on the first kiss. Yep, got to do it for him. Because, you know, Chef, man, he's going to mess around and not do it and play around on his computer and not be sociable. Now nah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and make him do that. I think Raven, wake her butt up. She's been sleeping all dadgum day. But there's the first kiss. We've done it. Got Chef in the door. 
She loves it. She's all heated up. She's feeling flirty. Raven is still asleep. I'm thinking about money. Just, just kind of staring at him. Kind of creepy right here. Walking around. I don't know what I'm going to do. A lot of stuff breaks in this episode, too. I mean, the sink breaks. The refrigerator, I think, has got some smelly food in it. Uh, there's plates and stuff everywhere. I think the next time I get on, I'm going to hire the maid, but, like, the one that comes over all the time to clean everything because I don't want to spend episodes trying to clean everything. The house is getting way too big to be running around doing that. Besides, I mean, I know we ran out of money whenever we had, like, those four days off or whatever, but we're making some serious – we're making pretty good money. I think I get her to do a sleepover. Yeah, that's right. Um, had her in a sleepover, so she she ends up hanging out all night, hanging out with, with Chef and Raven and – I'm over here on the computer doing who knows what. I think this is about the time the computer breaks. But um, having a great time. What's he doing? He's still sleepy. I tell him no. Or do I let him go to bed? Nope. Absolutely not. You cannot go to bed. You're going to come back over and you're going to dance. Dang it. Dance with the chef. All creepy behind her. Don't walk Don't walk around and dance with her in the middle of the living room. Just stand behind her like that doing your, doing your white boy breakdown. We're still flirting. We're still having a good time. Trying to, uh, what are we doing? Dancing. Still romance. Trying to build up the, trying to build up the romance deal here. More choices. Embrace. Yep. We're still dancing. I think Raven, I don't know what she's doing. She's over here cooking. Yeah. We need to do some more of that stuff with her so she can get, so she can get, uh, another promotion and stuff and get, get some more stuff rolling in. But I wonder what's going to happen if, if Chef ends up, um, Moving in, Stacy. Maybe they're gonna have. Uh, maybe she'll have another twenty grand, or maybe maybe she makes a house. We can just move into her house. I don't know. We probably won't do that though, because I think. I mean, I've kind of grown to love this house. I mean, we put a lot of put a lot of time and effort and stuff into it. Raven's done with her cake there. I'm about to go to work in an hour after I'm fixing the fixing the computer. I think I end that deal. Yep. And that we're still flirting with her. Raven's standing around staring at the cake that she made. What else am I doing here? I think I start worrying about when everybody's going to work, so I don't want to. I don't want to mess up anybody's career. I don't know if I have her clean up stuff or not. Maybe I do. I don't know. But back to NCAA a little bit. They got me thinking about. I said earlier about Merck. That dude's won like the last four out of five national championships. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to put an end to that. If I don't start recruiting better, I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe somebody. Maybe somebody. That dude can dude can sure play. Um, Brandon's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of people that are pretty good in the dynasty. I just think, I mean, when he played as much as me and Chef do, I think we were talking earlier. I mean, we've been playing NCAA, and I think Chef's got like nine seasons. So we've been playing this – NCAA Dynasty for like nine seasons, I think. Um, I only started putting up videos, I guess, maybe four. Maybe four. But anyways, the, the little woohoo option comes up over here. I'm saying, you know, I can't hold Chef's hand all the time. He, he's got to make a move on his own. I can't be the one hooking him up with all these women that he's meeting in the game here. He's got to end up doing something on his own. I'm getting ready for work, and I absolutely love, and I've said it before, I love it that he, that he wakes up, not he wakes up, that he gets, uh, gets all uh, dressed up, ready to go for work, looking like, a, looking like a true boss. But, you know, everybody's gelling here, they're hanging out. Raven, she's scooting closer. Everybody's, everybody's getting along. Everybody's happy. Chef and Stacy Coyle, they're all, they're all flirty, having a great time. She's sitting here eating. Everybody's, everybody's having a grand old time. Great job. She's gelling with everybody. Just hanging out at 1030. I think she ends up staying up all night. But I don't know. Just hanging out here trying to make everybody have fun. Telling myself to work hard. We've been making them work hard all the time. Trying to get them promotions. Trying to get that money. Got to make that dough. Whichever way possible. If that's, if that's not beating people up or making computer games and, and doing fun things like that. Chef's still out of energy. He's been rolling low on energy for like, what was it? It was like 6 p.m. when he got off of work. Woohoo option's still there, but I think I, I think I finally make him go to bed because I think he goes to work in a little bit. 
I don't want him to get fired. So if he gets fired, we're going to go broke. We ain't going to be able to pay the bills. That one bill was really high. It was like 1400 bucks. I don't even know what. The lights turn on and off and everything else. I don't know. I don't know how the game calculates the uh, what the bills are, actually. Raven's uncomfortable from, I don't know, maybe maybe she ate some nasty food or something. I think she's going upstairs. We find out here in a second that she's going up to, uh, I think she's sitting on the couch. Never mind that. Never mind the stolen ATM. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> but uh, she's going to watch TV. I don't know why she didn't watch it downstairs. She was just sitting by a TV. Had to come all the way up there. I wonder if that's because the game's programmed them to go watch like the better TV because the one upstairs is more expensive than the one the one downstairs. I don't know. I think we have Raven go up there and mix a drink, actually, because she needs to, need to do it for her job, which we actually haven't been looking at too much the past few episodes, kind of seeing what she needs for the daily tasks and stuff like that to get to get promoted at work. So she's going to tend some bar and make a flaming zesty salt. Which sounds tasty. I'd like. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to have a flaming zesty salt. But I'm trying to get everybody to know each other. Trying to feel out this girl here, oh Stacy Cole, to make sure she ain't, she ain't crazy or, you know, want to burn the house down or stab anybody in her sleep. Some crazy women out there. It's a pro tip. But on the other hand, there's a lot of, there's a lot of awesome cool girls out there too. Right here, I was looking for some. I was looking for blues. Uh, I don't, can't remember if it was if it was this episode or or last episode that uh, I talked about my kind of music I like in real life. It might have been last episode. I don't know. Me and Chevy usually try to sit down and and knock out you know three or four three or four episodes. So uh, you know, because we have to do it on one computer, which is at his house, because my internet's so busted, I can't uh, I can't upload at my house. Surprisingly, it's. 2015 and my internet's so crappy that I can't upload stuff. Can you imagine that? But I'm just having them talk and get to know each other, even though Raven is still uncomfortable from... I don't, I don't even know what. If I look at that emblem, maybe she... I don't know. Ate food off the floor or something. Our Sims do funny stuff like putting plates on the floor and other, kind of, other kinds of silly stuff. Shifts asleep. And we're still We're still sitting here. I think I speed everything up finally. I've gotten a bad habit of kind of letting everything go slow, but the more characters and stuff you add to this, and there's always something to do, and it, you kind of it, it gets away from you a little bit. Having to click here and click there and click here, man. If they're not in the right mood, they get they get moody, and you can't ever have them have any fun, and they get all get all angry and pissed off. Did she just change clothes on the way down from the? Oh no, she didn't. I thought she looked like she changed clothes on the way down from the stairs. That was kind of funny looking. I tell you what, these Sims sure like these radios, though, man. They hang out in front of them things and just sit there and dance like crazy. She's dancing. She's like, hey, I'm feeling good. Chef's sleeping. It's cool. Everyone's like, man, you got way too much energy. I've been up forever. Been up forever. Nope, oh, she's happy now. I guess that uh, nasty food finally wore off. She's feeling good. Her career, she starts in 14 hours. I think Chef starts in 7. I think I wake him up right here. Nope, nope, not yet. Yep, yep. Wake him up. He's feeling good. Tell him to come over here and give her a kiss. Say, hey, you've been up, you've been up hanging on that with Raven? Cool. I want to dance too, my PJs. Look at me. I still dance behind you, though, instead of, like, beside you or, or in front of you. But, it, you know. Chef's going to come in here around the treadmill. I'm like, dude, you just woke up. It's 3 a.m. Get off the treadmill, dog. Come talk to the come talk to the lady. She's been up all night. You've been sleeping all day. You a heartfelt compliment. Raven is taking a bath. Yep. Still more talking. I come home. I'm feeling pretty good. What am I doing? A little low on energy, but everything else is pretty good. I don't want to become best friends. Romance. I'm going to flirt with, uh, is it Raven? Yeah. I'm going to flirt with Raven. Back upstairs, say, what's up, babe? How oh, work was great. Yeah. Some guy, some guy got, uh, got tested with me, so I busted his face. You know, just another day at work. My hands are kind of, you know. Oh, jukebox is broken. See, I told you, everything just kind of goes to shit in this episode. 
the jukebox breaks. I think one of the bathrooms breaks. One upstairs, one downstairs. I think the refrigerator ends up having a bunch of smelly stuff. But, uh, you know, I tell her a story about, you know, kicking some guy's teeth in. And she's like, my man, come on to bed. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm thinking, hmm, well, she's sitting on the bed. Shift decides, I'm going to go into the kitchen and grab an empty plate. I said, don't do that. I said, why don't you go in here and woohoo with Stacy Coyle. And he says, hey, babe, you've been up all night. You got enough energy to woohoo? She says, absolutely. I seen you streaking the other day. And ladies and gentlemen, right here what you have is a couple of people woohooing like a frat house. We're going to turn this place into a frat house. We got chefs woohooing with Stacy. I'm up there woohooing with uh, Raven. We're just woohooing. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody, look at look at us. Happy family. They're sleeping downstairs. They're sleeping upstairs. Everybody's just having a great time. Which makes me think we have a little bit of wasted space and we kind of need another bathroom. Um, we ought to extend the wall out on that one and give them the bathroom there in the corner, then put just like a half bath somewhere. Which I may end up trying to put one somewhere, and I'm not not quite sure. I'm kind of looking at the uh, kind of looking at the layout of the house here, and trying to trying to come up with an idea about how I might want to do that. Because, well, I mean, why not? It's a little bigger bathroom, you know, you can put a uh, better shower and stuff in it. Because I think the better showers and stuff that we have, I think the better, I think the quicker. You know, that they don't have to be showering and can be out doing, you know, fun thing. I think chef's off to work feeling good. He better be feeling good. He's got to do woohooing. Nothing better than that. Wake up first thing in the morning, woohoo. Always makes me feel better in the morning. <laughs> ah, they see, there's a toilet. I told you it breaks. Um, so I have him come downstairs. Like I said, we see the computer's out. That toilet's broken. The jukebox is broken. Let me see, I think there's some more stuff downstairs that's busted too. Let's look once I click back down here in a minute. I said once I click down here in a minute. There we go. Um, see there's plates everywhere. It looks like some smelly cake. The cake's messed up. The plates are messed up. What else is messed up? I think the fridge has got nasty food in it. Yeah. And I end up leaving all this stuff to uh, for Chef to clean up. I think some more stuff ends up breaking too. <laughs> but that's the fun of the episode. Having all the stuff break and having Chef do his whole episode trying to fix everything. That's what I do because I'm a good friend. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.